Hey, I'm Steve Tillman, and you're riding on a nice one with us today. 2007 Hurricane GS202. Come on up and get close. She's got 61 hours on a Yamaha 150 horsepower four-stroke. And let me tell you something, she is CLEA and clean. Still got the fishing chairs up front that uh, come out and are stowable, okay? Although we came over here to the boat ramp at about 50 miles an hour with them in this position, which does have a lock on it. And I'll tell you, they never flap, not one time. She does have a reboarding ladder in the front. Super nice, comes all the way out. And also, Hurricane did a great job, you know, on their later model boats, doing nice things like putting recessed cleats in. Uh, she is riding on an aluminum, a tandem axle aluminum I-beam easy loader trailer with brakes on both axles, with brakes, brakes on both axles. Uh, then of course you have port and starboard cleats in addition to the anchor line cleat. And then the big anchor locker up front, uh, docking lights which do work, horn which works. And uh, if for folks that have not seen the uh, classified ad, this boat has had, oh, somebody's going to the ER, take a look. See right here? Now that's what you're gonna ride in if you ride too fast. If you ride too fast and you run the, uh, you run the red light, or you eat too many of those uh, hamburgers that come from a, Guy told me a long time ago, he said, you don't want to ever eat too much of anything that somebody passes you through a window with a bag because it clogs your arteries up. Did my daddy, I tell you that. Okay, anyway, can you hear me now? Are you listening? Hmm? So anyway, tandem max aluminum I beam trailer. Uh, stainless steel bimini frame, folds all the way forward to here. It's about an eight foot bimini top, huge. Bimini top, and then the only thing you know, the hull's in nice shape. I haven't found any nicks or spots on, but see, this is just from normal use, okay? The decal's only right here, it's got a little scuff in the decal right there. Not bad, I wouldn't touch it, I wouldn't replace it. A little scuff right here, not bad. Reboarding ladder in the back. People always ask me, what are these right here? Well, this is the strainer for your live well. This is where your live well raw water comes in. This boat's got a stainless steel prop on it. Again, it's got about 61, we'll probably have 62 hours when we get through. And I just want you to get up close and take a look at how clean this engine is. You can find them that clean, but they generally have to be new on the shelf. Okay. Yamaha factory filter. Here's your starter. For you folks that like to do your own oil changes, all you have to do to change your oil is, is unloosen this uh, number 10 metric bolt up in there, get you a bucket zip it around, just let it drain, 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 drain until there's no oil left coming out of it. Uh, you can buy these online for about $10, these oil filters. If you, you know, they make all different kinds, but if you want the Yamaha filter, you can buy them online for about $13, $14, $15, and then put Yama Lube back in. We like to run Yama Lube. Uh, Four-stroke motor oil. And you can do an oil change yourself on a boat like this for probably about 15 let's see. $15, $16 a gallon plus the filters say about $30. You can do your own oil change. Clean, clean, clean. So on these Bimini tops, what happens is if you don't like riding with it up in what we call the erect position, then what you can do is disconnect this right here, let it come here, take, take these braces, flip them up, and then put the shorter ones down and you can ride with it you know, laying down if you're scooting down the road or your branches or whatever. Good looking boat.
good looking boat. Oh, I didn't, and I was telling you on the other side, a lot of these hur hurricanes, hurricane, you know, all boats do something different. Uh, Bayliner doesn't like the sun, the older Bayliners, you know, 05, 06, 07. They don't like the sun. Sea uh, Dew products, they don't like the sun. Yamaha jet boats on the top, you don't cover them up, that'll tan an alligator back. What happens on these hurricanes if they're left uncovered is the white will yellow. Then it goes from yellow to tan, and then from tan to, you know, coffee and cream, and then after a while, then it'll just alligator back. And that's what had happened, although this, this boat's a bank repossession, all the boats we buy and sell are bank repossessions. And although at one time it did have the, the, uh, the, the cover for it, the full cover, the guy didn't cover it up, and the white uh, yellowed. And so we had the, we spent three grand having the whole interior redone, brand new, about, about a week ago, two weeks ago. and. Uh, with marine vinyl and stainless steel, everything, screws, staples, it's ready to go. Take a look. That was my Japanese friend, Hong Sang, that came through. He works at the restaurant. A lot of people don't know that I know how to speak Japanese. When I see Hong Sing, I say, Hong Sing, how you doing? He say, fine, fine, Master Steve. He doesn't have that high pitched voice. <laughs> Unless he's upset. Then he say, how you doing, Master Steve? <laughs> that doesn't sound like he's upset. Oh, oh, okay, here's how he sounds not upset. How you doing, Master Steve? <laughs> and then when he's really mad, he goes like this. Mr. Steve, how you doing? <laughs> okay, so the idea is, if you're up here fishing, that uh, you and your partner both have got enough room to stay out of each other's way. I think Hurricane in the night probably did one of the nicer jobs. Big, big deck up here stay out of each other's way and then also they put a live well right up in the front. Let me see if I can get it to work. The idea would be uh, the idea would be that uh, you take this thing and stick it down in there as your overflow. Okay then finally let me tell you what else they did. It wasn't always this way, but in but in 07, what Hurricane did is they got brilliant and they put uh, cushions, I mean, uh, excuse me, hinges on the cushions so that, you you know, you obviously you wouldn't lose them. And let me tell you something. If you've ever done much traveling around the United States, if you hadn't seen a boat cushion laying on the side of the road, you missed a good chance. They're so new. See, everything's lined. Everything's lined. The bottoms of them are PVC, so there's no rot. So you have the same thing. You got storage on both sides, and then oh yeah, nice, nice stainless steel handrails, two speakers up front, cup holders everywhere. Nice uh, refreshment center. And this thing pulls out about four and a half feet. What they did was that there's supposed to be a uh, a little garbage can right here, but it also serves as access to your. There's about a 15 gallon fresh water tank down in there, and there's a, your fresh water pump is down in there, so it gives you access. See right there, way down in there. Yeah, that's it. And then your fresh water um, uh, fill up is right there. Monster stainless steel bimini frame with zippers, so if you ever want to take it off and wash it, you can do that. And then I just want you to see the interior, how clean it is. It's, 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 just, it's, it's brand new. It's brand new. Cushion, you know, all the way around, all the way around. Storage everywhere. Storage everywhere. Self-bailing cockpit. See, so you got a scupper right here between my legs. 
And then there's one over there in that corner. Can't see for your hand. Oh, down. excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. See the scupper right there? Mm -hmm. And then there's one over there in that corner. Mm -hmm. And then also the courtesy lights, I left them on. See how you got, yeah, there's courtesy lights for you. Where? Right there, see there's one right there. There's one right there, see there's one up front by that step. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's, there's a, this boat comes with a table and a pole for, for right here in the cockpit. Uh, Hurricane did a real nice job putting your batteries, uh, fire extinguisher, battery master switch, dual battery master switch underneath the seat. Easily accessed, nice, clean, mm -hmm. buckled down, tied down. And then, of course, the fun part is what, Mom and Dad? We just want to ride? No, sir, we don't want to just ride. We don't want to fish. What we want to do is we want to go to them. That comes up, and then after it comes up, it locks like that. Ski pole or two, either way. Very nice. And uh, boarding ladder we showed you back there in the back. Super nice access over here to your bilge pump. The uh, the ball for the see the bot. There's your bilge pump, uh, fuel water separator back over here on the uh, port side. Got some little St. John's River brown water in there now. So just what everybody wants. Nice clean boat. Okay. Captain's chair? Oh yeah, thank you. In that right there? Was... Oh yeah. Of course, of course we carry our storage, I mean our safety equipment in that big uh, compartment right there, but if you had water skis, if you had water skis or um, wakeboard, rope, life jackets, whatever, you could put down in the bottom mm -hmm. and, and get it out of your way. You don't necessarily have to do like we do and carry it in a box. You know, we just don't we're on boats all day long, so that's where we put our stuff at. It, it of course, twists and locks. And then Hurricane also said, hey, we're going to get in the game. And we're going to do the, uh, the modern thing, which is to take a captain's chair, although this one's oversized. Take your captain's chair, you could almost sit two people in there and put the bolster on it. So when I'm up tubing, when I'm up tubing or I'm skiing, I'm, I'm up and I'm, I'm looking versus being down and cruising. Of course, you get the back support this way, but it's a lot more easier. Or if you're short like me. Oh uh, yeah, or it's a lot more easier to be up and turn than it is to be down and turn. And then I'll just show you the console. This boat comes with, from the factory, a power switch and you hit this power switch here in addition to your master switch and then uh, this power switch here this is your horn and then your power switch your uh, nav and anchor lights your nav lights right here your anchor light back on the back of the bimini top up top which should be standing up okay and then uh, bilge pump bilge pump fresh water pump, courtesy lights, docking lights, the two little oval lights that I showed you up front earlier, bilge pump, and then uh, depth finder, which is not, okay, depth finder is, see right here, depth finder is a little foggy, 47 hours, oh, it's 47 hours, 46 feet, we're right here in the middle of St. John's River, pretty deep, and then, um, ooh, I can't really read what that says. Live well, I showed you accessory. Depth finder, I showed you. I ain't gonna lie to you, I can't read what that says. Compass on the on the starboard side, trim indicator, tachometer, and I don't know if you can see it or not, shows 62.6 hours. Speedometer, new volt, this is a new gauge, voltage gauge and your fuel. And at one time, somebody had a, uh, a sonar on here 
uh, and still has the power cable and the cord going back to the uh, the transducer on the bottom and then of course what all the kids want to know is does the radio work Let me see, let me see you. Rihanna. What? Rihanna. Rihanna. Live your life. Hey, you know what about Rihanna? What? She was married to Chris Brown. She was dating him. She was dating Chris Brown. They were just talking. Talking. Okay. <laughs> Scares the hell out of me. I don't know about you. Make your children leave the YouTube room now. Mm -hmm. Scares the hell out of me. My girls come on. And I say, you like, I said, what about you and so-and-so? And she says, oh, we're just talking. Oh, we're just talking. You know what I found out talking means? Not talking. Means, Body language. It means. Body we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Doing more than talking. All right. Note to self. Kid tells you you're talking. You talk with them. Okay, here we go now. Alright, so we showed you everything. Oh, and by the way, earlier when you were scanning around the boat, this 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 steer this steering wheel is about a seven on a scale of one to ten. And I, I had this plastic thing that covers it up. It's not what came from the factory, but it covers that nut up. Also, this thing tilts like this. Mm -hmm. So if you want to drive like that, you could. But but if you didn't like the steering wheel and you wanted to go back new, $93 or on Great Lake Skipper's got them right now on eBay. Okay, well, we're getting ready to wind it up. I'm going to show you what time it is. We're trimmed all the way down. We got about 15 knots on the nose, and I got my fishing chair standing up there. Can we move it down? Uh, let's see. I think I'll 